And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and the San Diego Padres. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. And starting in this one, number 14. Four-pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter. You really have to stay on your toes. Dave Cash stands in now and watches strike one. First pitch, 7 o'clock. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. And time now for the Phillies lineup. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early, and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Hernandez over to first in time. Awesome play there. Here's the left fielder. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He flexes his power with that swing, and that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Digging in, Mike Schmidt. And a foul ball. One run across in the frame so far, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Swing and a miss. It's a good changeup to oh, hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Got it by him for the K. The Phillies get one by way of the long ball. It's now a one nothing ball game. This is Phillies baseball on the show Northeast. And we're back. Today's starting pitcher, Steve Carlton. What do we have on him? He's a dominant pitcher, but he can get a little too relaxed second and third time through the order and miss his spots. That's where we see him get touched up. Go. If he well, maintains the right. same intensity that's that he has job. in the first inning and Number the second one. inning, I think we'll see him hand the ball over to his closer. The pitch. Trying to bunt his way on. The flip to the pitcher cover out on a bang bang play. Let's take a look at the Padres lineup. And now the center fielder. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. 
Carl, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a One slider, more. a curve, and he works in a sinker. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Oh, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow right death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Number 31, the batter down as he swings and misses for strike one. Two outs. And a foul ball. Going to count one and two. Definitely a swing and miss one, slider two. down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Three up, three down for San Diego, and it remains 1 0. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started, and now for the Phillies, Dick Allen. The pitch. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Safe at first as they can't make the play. And digging in for Philadelphia, Willie Montanez. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. On the ground right side, four, six, oh. three. And they turn the double play. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. Bob Boom, the next to hit. On the ground to third. Tosses the first, out, and they go down fast. Three outs on three pitches. After an inning and a half, it's 1 0. Bottom half of inning number two. Stepping in for San Diego, number 44. Number 44. Carl back to work. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. So a man on base to start the inning. Bobby Nola digs in now. And that's in for a strike. A one down. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Now there's a ball. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Headed down the line. On the run to the right. Makes a nice running catch. And there's one down. Batting six. The third baseman. Number 15. Here's the third baseman. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Ball. First offering and it just misses. And downstairs. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. 
on the ground. Dive, and he's got it. Flips it from the ground. That's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Phillies one and the Padres nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Now at the plate, number 21. Number 21. The pitch. Line to left. Nolan makes the grab, one away. Tony Taylor now at the plate. Taylor goes five feet, nine inches, hitting ninth in today's lineup. He joined the team as a free agent. And a strike on the outside edge. That one not close. And that's ball one. One down, base is empty. There's a swing and a drive. And out of here. That'll fire up the dugout. It's 2-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the Max fan carried it out of here. Now it's going to be Dave Cash. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. That one, one missed. One out. Base is empty and a run in. We're here in the top half of inning number three. This one smoked on its way out of here. They go back to back and they add to the lead. It's 3-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Back to back Jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. the shortstop grounded out his first time up just a slow ground ball this time throws the first in time it's a good recovery though after giving up the home run not allowing it to stay in the head but going to work at the next hitter and a tough one at that two outs base is empty now the left fielder he's already homered here in this one And that one fouled off. He'll one. A big two. swing and a miss. No ball. Two strikes. Two out spaces empty. field line that's a base hit makes the turn and heads for second now the tag at second and he's out time for two a long throw and that's the third out Fred Kendall. 
and a pitch. That one's in there. It's 0-1. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And one, it one. skips into dirt. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Settles under this one. Makes the grab one down. Batting eight, the second baseman, number 23. Fuentes, the next up for the Padres. And the first offering is not close. The Padres trailing by three here in the last half of the third. Next is the designated hitter, Dave Roberts. That catches the outside corner. Throwing the one. And a pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball still lowered two. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. Good job to fight that one off. Two outs. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses, and a nice inning of work there as he sets him down 1-2-3. Andres go down quietly. They trail it here, 3-0. And we're back out of the fourth. Now the third baseman, Mike Schmidt. Mike Schmidt. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. And it's fouled away. Kicks and fires. And they'll do it again. The pitch. And that one's a little bit low. Now one and two. The wind and the pitch. Grounder, that's through for a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. He was all no, over that no, one. Perfect. Timing on the swing was good. Yeah. Able to shoot the ball oh, up the yeah. middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now Dick Allen. Right. Swing and a miss. Oh, 
as he was out front that time. You know, these Phils doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. And here's a stat for you, Boog. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. Righty to the plate. That breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly it is nothing in two. Right-hander kicks, deals, ball. and ball one. One ball, two strikes. That's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, we don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Willie Montanez stands in for the Phillies. And he hits a ground ball right foul. side, and it goes just foul. The Phils trying to break this one open. Top half of inning number four. On the ground to first. And that one handled. One at second. Back to first. Not in time. Bob Boom stands in for the Phillies. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Hit hard, that gets through. In comes the run from third, and they lead by four. He is safe! Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Runners on the corners with one gone. And now the right fielder, he's 0 for 1. Strike one. No ball, one strike. Two on, one out. Ground ball right side could be two. There's one. Over to first, safe. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. Tony Taylor stands in for the Phillies. He's already homered in this game. And first offering is fouled off. Pickoff throw. Ow! They got him, and that will end the inning. So two runs, three hits, no errors, no one left. And midway in the fourth, it's the Phillies five and the Padres nothing.
Ready to go. Bottom go. four. Stepping in, Hernandez. The shortstop. Number 11. Carl back to work. Fastball for a strike. Well, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps that's this up. And that's in there at the knees. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Up the middle. On the run. Sends it over to first. Him, and one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Singy, what a throw. We got to take another look at it, but this time with the numbers from StatCast. Yeah, boy, that's about as good as it gets. You'll see the hardest throwing infielders reach 90 plus on throws across the diamond. So he's pretty much right there with the best infield arms in the game. That was a rocket of a throw right there. Here's the center fielder. His first at bat was a strikeout. And that's ball. down and away. One ball, no strike. One down, base is empty. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Allen drifts towards it, reaches over the wall, and he's got it. Space is empty. Now it's the right fielder. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Right through there for a strike. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Line of the pitch. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. That one lays to center and a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Man, Singy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. And yeah, the batter now, number 44. Ball. That's outside. And that is one ball one. Two outs. That one fouled off. To the right side. Throws to first. And that is the third out of the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We played four. It's the Phillies five and the Padres nothing. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. Leading off, the Tony Taylor. Tony Taylor. And the right hander back to work. Oy. Swing and a miss. Oy. 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 Well, these Phillies, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. Just look at how the ball's coming off their bats, and tell me it's fun playing defense at this level. They've got seven Leading hits out. at 90-plus miles per hour exit velocity, so you got to look alive out there. Now that the second baseman. Yay. So the lineup flips yeah. over. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Dave Cash, one for two. Go Hit in the air, center field. Makes the grab on the run. And there's two down. The back, number 10. Two outs, base is empty. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop. Oh, oh, oh. 
Swing and a little roller right side to first. That's and out. that's the third out. Phillies down in order, but they hold a 5-0 lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Bobby Nolan. As the lefty gets to work. Bunting for a hit. And they put the tag on him for the out. The bat, number 15. Here's the third baseman. He hit into a double play his first time up. That right. one's in there, and that is no strike ball. one. These hitters strike. are going to have to find a way to be a little more patient, see more pitches per at bat. Otherwise, that bullpen's not going to have to work over there, and it's going to be advantage pitching all game long. And now the lefty. Lays down the line, pick the extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Nice line drive with the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice and off and moved it into the outfield. Could be a chance here for them to start falling back into this ballgame. So digging in, Fred Kendall. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. On the outside corner, that's strike one. One out and a runner at second. Last half of inning number five. No. Just missed. Man at second. Ball two. That one fouled off, two and two. On, and a foul ball, he stays alive. That one blasted deep to right. And the batter now, Fuentes. And first offering is fouled off. One one. In the dirt, and the runner holds. Runner at second, two down. One two now. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Man on second, two down. Stays alive. Foul ball still, one and two count. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. Padres leave one, it's 5 nothing. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, number 38. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Here's the left fielder.
Here comes a pitch. Ground ball left side. In plenty of time to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Mike Schmidt stands in for the Phillies. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. In the air out to center. Pulls it in, and there's two away. Now batting the first baseman. Two yeah. outs, base is empty. Allen. Next is the speedy first baseman, Dick Allen. Allen goes five feet, 11 inches, a member of the 1,000 hit club. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. To the right side, Fuentes. Tosses to first. That's the third out. Nothing doing here this half. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Phillies five and the Padres nothing. Bottom of the sixth there inning. Now well, it's the DH, Dave the Roberts. Dave. And here it comes. Bottom ah. of the zone and a called strike. You know, these Padres just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. The wind of the pitch. That's down and in, a slider missed. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Now this is in the air down the line. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. And he deals. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Man, that looked like a pretty good swing, and I was waiting for it to get hammered somewhere. I mean, breaking ball, but he just somehow missed it. Timing looked solid, and his balance was there. He wasn't out on the front foot. Great pitch to hit, but just came up with nothing but air. So, tell you what, that's not a good feeling at all. The lefty fires. Bunting and it's in the air. In there safely. They do small ball is exactly what the doctor ordered to rev up this offense, and they've been pretty quiet all game, so maybe this wakes them up a bit and helps them get on the board. Now the number two hitter. Popped up under it. He's got it. Now batting, number 31. And now the right fielder. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Strike one. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. Got him looking. Picks up strikeout number seven. One left for San Diego. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. Top of inning number seven. And now for the Phillies, Willie Montanez. Willie. Why to kick the pitch? 
And he grounds one to the right side. And that chance handled. Gets it to first. Out. That's the first out in the top of the seventh. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. The catch Bob Boone will hit next. Bob. Known for Boom. his rocket arm behind the plate. That one way inside. One ball, no strike. Base is empty, one away. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That one's carrying. To the warning track, makes the catch. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the right fielder. Hit on the ground to the right side. And that's just foul. Two down, nobody on. Ground ball right side, Fuentes. Throws to first in time, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia as they are unable to add to their 5 0 lead. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the seventh. So digging in now for San Diego, number 44. pitch that yeah. one finds the zone and it's 0-1 this lineup is having a tough time finding a good rhythm at the plate their swings are disjointed ah. which tells me they're having issues with pitch recognition no it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today good fastball excellent slider but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there pitch hacks and misses it's a strikeout that was a tough slider right there he couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep the at bat alive and hitters will tell you that slider when a guy's able to really tunnel the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late has a really good bite so tough to lay off of because you've made the decision you don't want to get beat by a fastball and then you swing and you miss you go back to the dugout shaking your head one down, base is empty. Late with the swing there. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. Left-hand batter waits. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And a pitch. Good oh. eye in that spot. Really nice Good slider shoot. right there. Sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. Chopper to second. Cash. Fires over to first. Two up, two down. The bat, number 15. Now the third baseman. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seven. That misses, and now it's even one and one. Two outs. On the ground, right side. 
Tosses to first, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. top of the eight so here's the Phillies DH Tony Taylor Tony Taylor and the pitch and a swing and a miss Phil the chase up right there just pulled the string back to the mound he's got it the throw to first. That's an out. One up, one down. Now batter. The second baseman. Dave. Yeah. So the batting order turns over. Dave Cash getting ready to hit. One for three. Lined, and that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Flashes the leather on the running catch. That's out number two. Now that number 19. Man at first, now the left fielder. On Ripped on a line to center. Brings it in, and that'll do it. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Phillies five and the Padres nothing. Bottom of the eighth. We now, Fred Kendall. Padres. This guy, one it. of the best defensive yeah. catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. No, outside. outside. One and oh really good athlete and many times we talk about you know the feet of infielders this catcher as well really quick feet Ball he's two. able to recognize the pitch see the trajectory and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop in the air foul off first Allen puts it away one down the batter number 23 So up next, Fuentes, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. SG. Right through there for a strike. The Phillies leading by five here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. That Whoa. one off the mark, and it's one and one. And there's a base hit into left. So a man aboard now with one away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Roberts, batting with one down, takes a strike. Fuentes stands at first with one out. Oh. Off the mark there. One and two to count. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. Two away.
Now batting, number 11. Back to the top of the lineup, Hernandez. The next up for the Padres. Fastball for a strike. That one, one in the dirt. One and one. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. That no. misses. And the count is two and two. You Very really good take, you especially with two strikes. The pitch. Ah. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. start the ninth in this one. Here's the third baseman, Mike Schmidt. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And first offering is fouled off. Right-handed reliever. And there's a foul ball. Started to go after it. Now a look down to first. He did not go around. It's outside, and it's two and two. Wouldn't okay. chase that time. And a three two. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Now that Dick Allen digs in now. Dick Allen. That's first pitch doesn't find the zone. Base is empty, one away. You're at the top of the ninth. Next ah. offering is in for a strike. Rip towards third. Zips it to first. Two up, two down. Really? Montanez. Willie Montanez stands in for the Phillies. 0 for 3 with three ground outs. Towards first, and that one handled. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Bottom of the ninth coming up, and we'll see if he can complete the shutout after the break. Last chance for the home team. And now the center fielder, the number center two. Fielder, number two. The wind of the pitch. He's been so sharp today, even over 100 pitches thrown. His skipper is leaving him in there to finish the job. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. No ball. Two strikes.
The pitch. The punch out there. And there's one away. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. He's two outs away. And now the right fielder. This one in the air center field. Montanez makes the catch. And a couple of quick outs. Now batter, number 44. So it's their last chance in this one. And here is number 44. On the ground the first. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. 5 nothing. the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Get your hand off my penis!